हाई फ्रेंड दिस इज डॉक्टर अपूर मेहरा एंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हाई टेबियल ऑस्टियाटमी ऑस्टियाटमी मीन्स कटिंग द बोन टिबिया इज अ बोन दैट वी नो हाई मीन्स द अपर एंड टिबिया वॉट आई एम गो डिस्कस हेयर इज द ट्रोकैंट्रिक द ऑस्टियाटमीज अब द टिबियल टिब्रोसिटी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑस्टियाटमीज इन द टिबिया आर डन क्लोजर टू द आर्टिकुलर सर्फेस रफली अबाउट वन टू वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर parallel to the joint line so we need to identify the joint line and the aim of the osteotomy is to preserve the joint and to align the axis of the long limb of the lower limb when i look at uh, the primary aim it is to prevent the progression of two things number 1 the stress forces which will worsen the arthritis number 2 you want to realign the limb as i told you to disrupt the process of worsening if it has started the peak forces in the knee are during the weight bearing the stance phase and uh, there are two reasons for this number 1 quadriceps contracts to prevent the buckling and you are transmitting the weight from one limb to other that creates a lots of stress second there is an extension of the hip and knee during the push off so these are the areas where you are putting a stress on the lower limb more so on the knee more so on the medial side and you know how much is the weight when you bear weight on one lower limb the force is a three times the body weight that you should keep in mind so when you have uh, a normal gait cycle why do you want a valgus at the knee joint because there is something called as an adduction force when you progress your limb and go into the stance why when you stand on both the limbs your weight distribution is equal on both both the hips are neutral knee is in valgus because that is the normal angle between the femur and the leg both feet are apart from each other and there is a center of gravity going right in front of the s2 vertebra going till the center of the body tibia is almost vertical to the ground that's perpendicular but during walking there is weight transmission from one limb to the other and when you bear weight on that particular limb there is an adduction force on that left hip the knee goes more into varus the same limb is closer to the center axis that is center of gravity tibia also goes inside so more of the varus forces come so if your knee has started going into tibia vera because of an osteoarthritis and you bear weight on that side then the medial compartment osteoarthritis will keep on worsening and progress with each stance phase even during a normal gait cycle and this is what you have to understand that the medial tibial condyle is usually distal as compared to lateral condyle and that is why the joint line ideally should be parallel to the floor on stance but if there is a varus things will change and the medial overloading will occur that causes inherent varoid knee having more oa on that side if there is an initial arthritis occurring on the medial side it is going to worsen further and then with the varus if the flexion comes on it will with the quadriceps forces coming on there will be further tension coming up so what do we do we align how we convert this varus knee into a valgus knee why so that the medial overload because of the weight bearing axis going medially is transmitted more towards the center of the lateral side we want to abduct the leg we want to move the foot floor reaction laterally that is away from the center of gravity and reduce the load on the medial side so what exactly are we trying to do if i look at the knee here this is the femur and this is the tibia so what i just told you varus means the distal part towards the midline so that's how it goes in so when it goes in so there are more forces on the inner side this side 
as the more forces are there, so when you will bear weight on this side, more and more worsening will occur. So what I want to do, the weight bearing axis which is started going on this side, I want to get it towards the center or a little towards the lateral side. Why I will not principally do more of lateralization, I will talk to you at the end. By doing this, you are able to reduce the load on the medial side. You can't make it zero, but you can reduce the load. And you can distribute it towards the healthier cartilage. Remember in OA knee, it is the medial compartment which is most commonly involved. So you are going and utilizing the intact natural lateral cartilage. This is the principle of high table osteotomy. So what exactly is a high table osteotomy? It's a mechanical realignment osteotomy. Why? So that the excessive slope on one side is corrected by creating an opposite direction. So in this diagram you can see because of the varus there is more of medial forces. That's how it goes. And what do you see here? You see here that when we go further and progress your leg in this varoid knee and we try to correct the angle. How do you correct the angle? You are trying to open up the medial side or close the lateral side. In either thing, you are creating a hinge on the opposite side. So if this is varus, so you will use the hinge on the opposite side and try to open up so that it goes into valgus. So you are hinging on the opposite side. So either you close the lateral side, so you will hinge on the medial side, closing the lateral side or you open the middle side again the hinges on the lateral side. So that's how you try to correct the axis. How? So you will create a cut and you will see that now the weight bearing line does not go on the middle side. In fact, it goes toward the lateral side, which is shown in the green direction here. And what you have to do is basically you have to get the axis going from the hip to the lateral side with an osteotomy in the center going to the center of the ankle and by doing this, by doing this correction, your axis goes roughly on the lateral side where earlier because of the varus it was going on the medial side.